Welcome to DIY Design by CCW, DIY Design for the 21st Century. My name is Candy and I'm the host of this channel. Now let's get into this video. Hello everyone, welcome to DIY Design by CCW. My name is Candy. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you are having the most fantastic day. Now, as you can see, I am going to be bringing you another DIY video. Now, I'm going to be doing several pieces in this video, so I do hope that you hang on and that you like what you see. And if you're not a member of the channel, I hope you'll hit that uh, subscribe button today. I would love to have you be a part of the family. Now, um, if you're new to the channel, you may not know, or if you follow the channel, then you do know that for a few weeks now, I have been uh, doing a color series. Now, I have been working with this treasure gold paint made by Folk Art. I've been playing around with different shades and using it mostly on various uh, glass pieces, be they thrifted pieces or pieces that I've picked up from Dollar Tree, etc., and seeing what I can create. Um, now, this is a shade that I've worked with uh, before. It's absolutely beautiful. It is a beautiful blue, and it's called Blue Quartz number 1086. Now, um, if you're new, then you may not know this, and if you, again, follow the channel, this will be a repeat. But uh, what I like to do is make sure that I put at least two to three coats on each piece. And what you want to do is apply your first coat, not really heavy, just, you know, try to keep it even, keep your brush strokes even, and then let each coat dry in between. And then let that final coat dry completely before you do any sort of uh, additional embellishment or work on your piece. Um, now, uh, again, this is a fun process. This paint comes in all colors, but there's all sorts of uh, acrylic paints out there that you can use. And I do have some others coming up, a special request. I'm going to do something in red. And uh, I'm also going to be doing a wedding series this month. So I do hope that you come back for that. Now, um, again, as, as you watch me do this, I want to let you know that this video is in participation of a close collaboration with two of my favorite sisters here on YouTube. One is Tammy. She is the glam queen of DIY, and her name speaks for itself. And then there is Design and Style with Stacy, a fabulous, fabulous creator. Uh, please go down and find both of the links to both of their channels. They're both fabulous creators. Find the links to both of their channels and make sure that you tell them that Candy sent you uh, so that you can go over and, and see what they do. Again, both of them have their own style, uh, their own way of doing things, but they can both do some fantastic DIYs. They both do home decor and lifestyle uh, videos. So again, please go and visit them today. And I've made it easy for you with the links that I've left in, down in my description box. All right, guys. So as you can see, I'm just going to continue through and uh, put a coat of paint on each of the pieces that I'm going to be making over. And then when I'm done with this, I'm going to jump into decorating each piece. Now, now you see that we're back and we're working on the candle holders. Now, these candle bases are just fine by themselves. But if you follow me, then you know I'm a little bit extra. I always like to do a little bit something different. So what I decided to do was to glue one of these Dollar Tree napkin holders to my base just to add a little more height to the uh, finished product. And uh, since that wasn't enough extra for me, I'm also going to add a little bit of this uh, uh, rhinestone hot fix to the uh, candle holder or to the napkin ring just to bling it out a little bit. And then once I get it all trimmed down and glued on, we'll move on to the next part of the DIY.
Okay, so let's move on to this part of the DIY. Um, now, the theme that Stacy, Tammy, and myself chose for today for you is baby blue and diamond. So what you're going to be seeing me do is dress up my pieces with uh, various types of rhinestone uh, wraps and hot fixes, hot fix wraps, and most of those things come from Joanne Fabric. Now, again, this rhinestone wrap is really beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The camera does it no justice. And uh, I, you've, if you follow this channel, you've seen me use it before. Um, and if you're new, then of course, this will be your first time seeing me use it. But what I'm going to do is for each of these cylinders, and these are just Dollar Tree cylinders, I'm going to be gluing a row of this wrap to the top and the bottom of each piece. And then I've found uh, I'm going to be using some beautiful uh, crystal and rhinestone brooches that I buy from Walmart. Again, if you're new, you this will be new, and if you follow the channel, you've seen me use these before, but I'll make sure that I link uh, all of these items that you see me using today down in my description box so that you can find them if you want to, and they're also available in my Amazon store. Um, now, as you can see, I'm just simply, uh, what I did is just take uh, a pair of uh, cutters and remove the back uh, clasp from the brooch so that it'll lay as flat as possible on my cylinder. I'm gonna lay the cylinder on its side and then after using my uh, adhesive and I did a little bit of hot glue as well as a little bit of the E6000 quick hole glue to attach it and then I'm gonna lay it on its side like this and leave it like that until I know that the brooch is secure and then we'll come back to that piece. All right, guys, now I've moved on to these other little cylinders. Now, these also come from Dollar Tree, and I'm basically doing the same uh, design. What I'll be doing is using that same hot fix wrap, and I'm going to attach it to, again, the bottom and uh, also around the rim. And uh, then we're also going to apply one of those brooches to uh, these cylinders as well. here I'm going to be making some lids uh, that uh, I'm going to be using on the little smaller Dollar Tree containers. So basically I am just going to take two of these wooden three inch discs. Uh, you can buy these from Dollar Tree or Michaels or Joanne Fabrics. They're very inexpensive and uh, I'm going to glue them together. I'm using a little bit of hot glue and uh, I'll also, as you can see, I've also used my uh, a quick hold adhesive to make sure that they're secure. Now the reason I'm doing this and gluing two together is I just like this lid to be a little thicker than some of the lids that I normally make. I usually only use one uh, of the um, of these discs but I decided uh, to do this one a little different. Now once I have done that I'm going to paint one side uh, of each of these discs because that's the side that you'll see 
when you lift up the lid to get something out of the jar or put something in it. Um, and as you can see, I'm also painting the edges of each of my discs. Right, so now that the paint has dried, what I'll be doing is gluing uh, a three inch mirror to the opposite side uh, of the, of, or to the unpainted side of each of the discs. And then I'm gonna be attaching this beautiful rhinestone um, trim and it's made by Additions. It also comes from Joanne Fabric. I'll glue that on and then I'm gonna be adding some beautiful decorative knobs to my new glam uh, lid. So now we're going to work on our vase. Um, I am doing, uh, decided to do something different with this one. I've, you, if you follow this channel, you've seen me do all sorts of things uh, using seed beads and, and uh, different types of glitter wrap, uh, or rather I, I always say that, different types of bling wrap. Uh, but for this one, I'm just gonna be using some plain bling wrap that you can buy pretty much anywhere. I happen to get mine uh, typically from eFavor Mart. I just like the quality of it. Now, what I did uh, before I got on camera here is I cut some strips. I measured and cut strips uh, that would fit lengthwise on the vase. And I'm just going to be uh, adding these strips uh, on the vase and uh, I'll put one on each side and then um, I'll fill in each side with another strip and then when I come back uh, after that we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more uh, bling or glam uh, to the vase. So now that I've got uh, my strips on all four sides of the vase, what I'm going to be doing is decorating the neck area or the belt area of the vase. And uh, not to repeat myself, I'm sure you've heard me say this before, uh, when I decorate a vase, I like to think of it like a fancy ball gown. And usually I have something in mind that looks like a dress, you know, and that's why I love this particular shape of vase. Um, so here again, I'm adding, uh, I'm working with that same rhinestone wrap um, that I used on the other pieces. And I'm also going to be adding uh, a little bit of uh, an, another type of rhinestone trim. Now this is a 4.5 millimeter uh, rhinestone uh, wrap. It also comes from Joann Fabric. It's absolutely beautiful. Now what I decided to do is to add a little bit around uh, the top and the bottom of the rhinestone trim that I've already added uh, to my belt area. And um, once I do that, I'm going to also add a little bit more uh, embellishment around the bottom 
of the vase and uh, you know me I may even add a little bit of bling uh, off camera before we get to the final reveal um, but that's what I'm doing guys so again remember that our theme for this particular collab was um, baby blue and diamond so that's what I'm trying to give you here so I am using uh, all sorts of different types of rhinestone uh, wrap to you know come up with that final look all right guys so hang on because after this and uh, when I'm done with this face we will be ready for the final reveal And this is how the pieces turned out. You know what? I think I like them and I hope you do too. That's a closer look at the vase. And uh, now that's a closer look at the Dollar Tree candle holders and are one of them. And that's another look at the little decorative jars. All right, guys, now let's look up, take a closer look at everything. So you know what? These jars, these little containers are my favorite pieces. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, they would make a, a beautiful gift, I think, for someone who likes this type of decor. Maybe a beautiful Mother's Day gift. Um, I certainly will be using these somewhere in my home. I love to change out my pieces and my colors. And uh, I would probably use this maybe in uh, one of my restrooms, one of my bathrooms, or on uh, my vanity or my dresser. Um, now there's a closer look at the vase again and you can see that I did add that beautiful brooch to the center there and I did that off camera. Uh, that's a, one of my brooches that I picked up from Walmart. Uh, again, I just love those pieces and they're only three bucks each, you know, and uh, I buy them whenever I see them in the store. Uh, so then that's a little bit of a look at everything. Now that little jar on the side is another jar that I did in another video. I'll make sure that I link that video as well. Uh, there's another look at the Dollar Tree candle holders. I think those are gorgeous and uh, I'll definitely be using those. Now, uh, I will let you know if you don't know already that I, I now have uh, a second channel and it is called Tablescapes by Candy. And on that channel, I will be using pieces like this that I've created uh, on this channel within a tablescape so that you can see how they look and I'll certainly be making sure that I use these pieces in a video soon. So if you don't know that channel or if you haven't been over and paid it a visit, I've got a link down in the description box and I hope you'll go over and take a look and uh, if you see something you like, I hope that you'll subscribe today. Also remember that this video is a part of a close collaboration with my lovely YouTube sisters and they are Tammy the Glam Queen of DIY and also Design and Style with Stacy. Now we both did, all three of us did the same theme so when you go to their videos you're going to see their take 
on the baby blue and diamond theme. And again, I've made it easy for you because I've linked their channels down in my description box. And I hope you'll go and pay them a visit today. Um, again, there's a closer look at everything. I really do like the way these pieces look together. Um, again, uh, I think these would also make a beautiful gift for someone if you have someone in your life that um, that likes this, this kind of decor, uh, maybe a Mother's Day gift, uh, as I may have mentioned, or, you know, some other kind of gift. Now, there in the back, guys, uh, that vase in the back, I call that my brilliant blue piece. Those candle holders uh, were made by Dollar Tree. Uh, with with uh, Dollar Tree items and the vase was thrifted also that mirror in the back is a DIY and uh, I'll make sure that I link that in the uh, I cards or in the description box and you're going to see another piece back there uh, that I call my chandelier candle holder and uh, I've, I'll link that piece in my description box as well so there's another closer look up look at uh, this rhinestone uh, Dollar Tree candle holder. I really like how that turned out. And, um, you know, I, like I said, I'll be using these pieces pretty soon in a tablescape on the other channel. Now, again, there's another look uh, at the brilliant blue pieces, as I call them. And I've already done a tablescape with these pieces. I'll make sure to link that video in the description box as well. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you're not a member of this channel, I really hope that you see something you like and that you'll tap that notification or subscribe and then tap that notification bell at least two times because I would love to have you be a member of the family. If you like glam decor uh, and glam DIYs, then this channel is the channel for you. And again, uh, if you love uh, glam uh, decor and glam tablescapes, then please go over and visit my new channel. And again, that is Tablescapes by Candy. Well, all right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you stay to this point, of, point uh, in the video, I thank you so much for all of your support. And uh, you know what I like to say at the end of every video. I can't wait to see you, each and every one of you, in the next video. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day or a beautiful night.